Good morning, boys and girls. How are you this morning? I hope you're having a fantastic morning already. All right, let's get started. Here we go. Good morning. I saw a butterfly today. Butterfly. Ooh, I'm missing a few letters in there. Fly. What letters say fl? What makes that sound? F L. Very good. So I'm going to write F L. Very good. It has four wings. It flew by me. It. It. What letter do you hear at the beginning of it? I hear the I, I, I sound, and that letter is I. Do I need an, a capital I or a lowercase I? That's right, I need a capital or an uppercase. Why do I need that type of letter? Why do I need an uppercase letter? Because it's the beginning of the sentence. Very good. So I'm going to make my uppercase I. Good. All right, so it flew by me. Oh, I'm missing my end mark. What end mark do I need there to end my sentence? I need a period. Very good. It landed on a flower. Flower. What letters did we say make the full sound? F L. Very good. F L. Good. Can you read these words? Let's read them. Eight, two, oops, sorry, ten. Good. Let's write the letter O. Okay, so the capital O and the lowercase O are going to look the same. The uppercase starts at the top line, and then the lowercase starts at the midline, or at the dotted line, okay? Put your fingers at the top. Ready? We're going to make the uh, uppercase O. We're going to make a magic C. You have to go that way, and then go back up and touch the top. Ready? We're going to start at the top. We're going to make our magic C. Keep going, keep going, and stop. All right, here we go. Let's do it together. Ready? Here we go. Starting here. Start at the top. We're going to make our magic C. Keep going, keep going all the way to the top and stop. Good. Next one, start at the top. Magic C. Oh, keep going, keep going to the top and stop. One more, starting all the way at that top. Make a magic C. Keep going all the way back up to the top and stop. Very good. To make your lowercase uh, O, you start the same way. But you're going to start at the dotted line or the midline, and you're going to make a lowercase magic C and touch that bottom line and then keep going back up to the midline and stop. Okay, so here we go. We're going to make our magic C that's lowercase. Keep going, touch that bottom, keep going, and back up to the top and stop. Good, make sure you start at the top. Magic C, keep going, back up to the top and stop. One more. Magic C, keep going, back up to the top and stop. Very good. <coughs> Excuse me. You did great. <coughs> you. How do I spell that sight word? You. Y. O. You. Very good. And it is an uppercase Y because it's the first letter of the sentence. You did great. Help me divide these words. Okay. I'm going to divide these words here into... um. Syllables, okay? I'm going to divide them into syllables. Ready? The first word is pancake. Say that. Pancake. We're going to do the first syllable and the last syllable. Ready? Pancake. It goes pancake. Do it again with me. Ready? Pancake. Because if you're tapping that out, you would go pancake. That's where it breaks. Pancake. Good. Next one. Hot dog. Ready? Hot dog. Good. Last one. Bird house. Bird house. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Bird house. Very good. Let's do one more. Ready? Let's do rainbow. Do it with me. Rain bow. Very good. Rain is going to be my first syllable. Bow is my second syllable. Very good. Have a wonderful day. All right. Let's look back at sight words. Here we go. The. It on four i a has 
by me you can words a a have words me look at all those words that you know and that you can read in this um morning message good job okay we're gonna do sight word phrases today ready so you have to know your sight words to be able to do the phrases ready here we go read it he will have good when is she how do you as we were that is from will you be i like to up and down find it by how was he if you do when she said which one did you find we were there look at that many words are but not these i can go come get it okay we use the word the word phrases because this would be something if you were reading a sentence like you could use these in a sentence so uh, how about if we say when is she when is she going to stop reading? Okay, let's read it, say that again. When is she going to stop reading? Okay, so you're using these sight words in that sentence. That's why we need to practice our word phrases. And we'll practice those again tomorrow, okay? All right, today we're gonna read a story about a caterpillar. Yesterday we read about the honeybee, and we talked about that a honeybee is an insect and that an insect has six legs. Well, today in our morning message, we talked about finding a butterfly. And did you know that a butterfly doesn't start off as a butterfly? It actually is a caterpillar. Okay, so we're gonna read this book. And this is The Very Impatient Caterpillar by Ross Burrich. Here we go. I love this book, it is so super cute. The very impatient caterpillar. Do you know what it means to be impatient? Impatient. Hmm. I want you to see. I'm not going to tell you what it means yet. I want you to listen in the book and see if you can figure what impatient and patient mean. Okay? Those are two words. But I want you to see if you can figure it out by, if you can listen to the clues in the book. Okay? To help you figure out those words. And then we'll talk about them at the end. Ready? Here we go. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're going to metamorphosize. Meta what now? Transform into butterflies. Right, right, I knew that. So to metamorphose, with a metamorphosize, they metamorphose, it means they change and they become something totally different. Okay, so a butterfly, we said, isn't a butterfly when it's born. It starts, it's as a caterpillar, and then it changes in different stages. Wait, you're telling me I can become a butterfly? Yes. With wings? Yes. For real? Yes. Wait for me. Now wait. Build your chrysalis. Chrysalis, right, right, I knew that. What? How did you do that? It is a, is it a spin or more of a twirl? Am I a butterfly yet? Ugh. Now what? Just be patient and let nature take its course. Patience. Right, right. I got this. There's that word patience. Am I a butterfly yet? No. How about now? No. Now? No. Be patient. I have a question. Not yet. You don't even know what I was going to ask. Fine. Ask. How's your day going? 
Also, am I a butterfly yet? No, just be patient. I don't think this little caterpillar up here in the chrysalis, this chrysalis, I don't think he's very happy right now. Shh, we're trying to metamorphosize. Okay, okay. Obviously, I know this, but do you know how long this takes? Two weeks. Right, right. Two weeks. Two weeks? Oh, what am I going to do in here for two weeks? Can I get a comic book or something? Wait, if I, what if I need to go to the bathroom? Anyone want to play a game? What if I want a snack? Hello, two pizzas, please. My address, a chrysalis. Black. Hello? Hello? How long have I been in here? It's still day one. This is taking forever. That's it. I feel metamorphosized enough. Look out, world. Feast your eyes on this beautiful butterfly. How do I look? Transformed? Time to spread my wings and fly. Does he look like a butterfly? Wait, where are my wings? Splat. Time for a new approach. Okay, you can do this. You can be patient. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't be patient. Get a grip, you can. I can't, I can't. You are the little caterpillar that could. I am the little pet caterpillar that can't, or that couldn't. You can. I can't. You can, I can't. You can, I can't. Can, can't. I can be patient. Patience is all in the mind. Be one with the chrysalis. Uh, this is day one, two, three. Day seven, oh, sorry, four. Uh, deep breath in. Day five, hand out. Day six, look. Day six. Day seven, I'm doing it. Day eight, just be patient. Day nine, just be patient. Day 10, day 11, two weeks later. I did it. I'm a butterfly. You know, I do feel transformed. Starting now, I'm going to be way more patient. That's great. Hey, where, where are you all going? We're migrating. Migrating. Right. Right. Wait for me. Are we there yet? <gasps> okay. So after reading that, what do you think it means to be patient? Remember, he kept saying, patient, be patient, patience. That's right. Patient means to be able to wait, to just be able to just stay calm and just wait it out. So if you're impatient, that means you can't wait. You're not very good at waiting. Very good. All right. Let's look at the life cycle of the butterfly. Okay, so in here, it starts off as a little egg, and then from the egg hatches a caterpillar, and then that caterpillar forms a chrysalis, and then after how many weeks? That's right, two weeks. That chrysalis, out of the chrysalis, hatches a butterfly. Very good. And then the cycle starts over. The butterfly will lay eggs. The eggs will, out of the egg will come a caterpillar. The caterpillar will spin a, co a cocoon, is what we call them here, but a chrysalis, that's the real name, a chrysalis. And then from the chrysalis, after two weeks, will come a beautiful butterfly. Very good. So today on your nature walk, maybe you can find a butterfly. And I want you to draw me a picture of a butterfly today. And then can you maybe label the wings and his body? Or you can even draw the life cycle of the butterfly, okay? All right, let's do our math today. And on our math, here we go. Yesterday, we looked at um, rolling the dice, remember? And then we wrote the equation. 
And we're going to do the same thing today. So when we use our dice, remember, we're going to take the two numbers and we're going to take the largest number and we're going to hold that number in our head. Okay, so if you don't really have a dice, you're going to take the number and you just put it in your head and then count on from there. All right, so here we go. We're going to roll the first one. Let's see if we can roll some different numbers. We have one. And so let me move that another way. One and six. So we have one and six. All right, so what's going to be my equation? One plus six equals. Very good. And so if I have one plus six, we should be able to do that without even counting on. One plus six equals seven. Because if I have six, one more equals seven. Very good. All right, let's roll them again. Here we go. Roll the, whoops, roll the first one. Two. And the next one, two. So my equation is going to be two plus two. Very good. And it doesn't matter if you see them this way or if you see them over here this way. They equal two. No matter what it looks like, it's still two. So our equation is two plus two equals, what does two plus two equal? Four, very good. We don't need to add that up because we know that. Two plus two equals four. All right, let's do another one. Here we go. One and three. Okay, so we have, whoop, I dropped it and lost it. There we go, three. So we have one plus three. So let's write that equation. Same thing. One plus three equals. And this time, whoop, that's not a very good equals. And this time we don't even have to um, add up. We don't have to count it on either because if we have three, one more is four. Very good. All right, let's do one more equation today. Ready? Here we go. Oh, there's that one again. That dice likes to be on one today, doesn't it? And oh, we just did that one. Let's do another one. Five. So we have one and five. So my equation is going to be one plus five equals, what does one plus five equal? Six, because if I have five, one more is six. Very good job. All right, so remember, keep practicing on rolling the dice if you have them. If not, I mean, somebody can just help you come up with numbers, it's okay. Or tomorrow, we're actually going to look at using a deck of cards, okay? And these happen to be frozen cards, frozen two cards. So we're going to use the cards to help us add tomorrow. Um, but try rolling the dice um, if you have it. And remember, um, you can make your own out of paper, fold it up into a box. You can find instructions on how to make that, uh, how to make a cube at home on the internet. Um, you can also find dice on the internet that you can just uh, roll virtually and it'll show those. You can just Google, uh, have, have an adult um, Google that for you. And then you can roll the two dice and add up the numbers that way. You don't have to have dice in your home. I got these at the Dollar Tree and just drew the dots on there myself. Okay. All right. So today, before we go, let's, re let's review all of our coins. This is a dime. Let's do it. Dime, dime, little and thin. I remember you're worth 10. Let's count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good job. Next, quarter. That's right. Remember, quarter is the biggest. Here we go. Quarter, quarter, big and bold. You're worth 25, I'm told. Okay, remember, we talked about that at our, our school, three quarters is how much? 75 cents, that's right, and you can buy ice cream. Here we go, so let's count it out. We have 25, 50, 75, a dollar, okay? Because you're using money, it's a dollar, not really, and not a hundred. So we have 25, 50, 75, a dollar, or 25, 50, 75, 100. Okay, this one is a penny, very good. Penny, penny, easily spent copper brown and worth one cent very good okay we're not going to start at one we're going to count on so today let's start at 84 here we go and so we're going to hold up our eight fingers for 80 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 
91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Very good. All right, last coin. This one is the nickel. Very good. Let's say the poem. Nickel, nickel, thick and flat. You're worth five cents. I know that. All right, five cents. So let's count by fives. Normally we do like a patty cake today. Let's just tap our head to try to keep those, keep counting by five in our heads. Ready? Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Good job, boys and girls. Thank you for spending the morning with me and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll be back with you tomorrow. Bye.